Nawasa says the cries of residents from the St. David's area have not fallen on deaf ears and that indeed they have put systems in place to address water shortage issues. But they are at the moment battling adverse effects of Mother Nature, particularly that of climate change. Climate change has several effects on water supply, particularly that warming causes polar ice to melt into the sea, which turns fresh water into sea water. Although more rainfall can add to fresh water resources, heavier rainfall leads to more rapid movement of water from the atmosphere back to the oceans, reducing Nawasa's ability to store and use it, a view that the company's production and quality supervisor, Juan Lambert, agrees with. We could link it to, to climate change. Uh, we could go that far, link it to climate change, which um, boils down to a reduction in what we have, the rain, the rain that we, we get, and then further boils down into the amount that we could, we could store. Um, as you can see behind me, we, the, the capacity of the dam is down to, is way under half, under half its capacity. Um, the normal capacity of this dam could be, well, probably about 500,000 gallons and no during the day. It's, um, here it's important to, 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 to supply during the day because we have a lot of schools being served in that area, hence the reason for a strength of water per day produce and distribute approximately 390,000 gallons of water per day. As it is now or, or, or over during the month of March, I, I could say that we would have produced just around 250,000 gallons of water per day, which is a, a, a really, really big reduction in what you have to give to the public. The Caribbean Institute of Metrology and Hydrology have made a prediction for an above normal rain pattern this year. Lambert says, however, they have put systems in place to address the issue. As it is now, we have a schedule in place where we, um, we, we, we feed, we would shut off your supply from 9 in the night at night to 5 next morning, which would give us some time to, to build and so that we could, we could supply you during the day. It's, um, here it's important to, 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 to supply during the day because we have a lot of schools being served in that area, hence the reason for us trying to actually supply during the day. And in, in other places where we might experience this problem, we may, we may look to load shed during the day where most people are out at, out, and out at work and then try to give them during the day. But here, we have a lot of schools in the area where we need to supply, hence the reason for, for doing it at, at night. Meanwhile, they are encouraging people to take the necessary steps to ensure adequate water supply throughout the dry season. The Caribbean accounts for seven of the world's top 36 water-stressed countries, with Barbados in the top 10. Eugenia Peters, GBN News.